and welcome to another episode. So I have this HP here. It is a Pavilion DV4. Um, customer gave it to me because they said it didn't um, do anything. When you powered it on, it would come on, but there'd be no display, and that's as far as it would go. So we can turn this on. We can hear it power up the fan start. Then they just go into their idle mode for standard cooling. Um, we have our display lights on the keyboard here. The uh, number lock and cap lock lights are blinking. I'll bring you in for a closer look to show you what's going on here. Again, there's no display. This is as far as it gets. So it's probably overheated and we'll have to reflow the GPU just like you would on an Xbox 360 to repair it. So I'll show you the symptoms up close. Okay, here's a closer look at what's happening now. Pay attention to the cap lock light and the scroller number lock light here. And you'll also see the speaker icon and the Wi-Fi icon, but nothing's displayed on the screen. It'll power on. And if we wait a moment, we'll start seeing those cap lock lights and number lock light flash. And this is as far as it gets. See those lights are flashing in unison. So it's probably overheated and the GPU, like I said, is probably lifted from the main board from heat. It's typical on the uh, Pavilion DV series. They run very hot and unfortunately they don't last very long. So I'm going to attempt to reflow the GPU. Um, put some more thermal paste down, maybe a little more heat sinkage. And hopefully we'll get this back on the road so the customer can work again. Let's dive in. Okay, so time to uh, disassemble this guy and reflow that graphic processor. Okay, so here is the main board, the motherboard to that laptop. And this guy right here is probably underneath this heat sink is the chip that has probably lifted and caused all the problems here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this heat sink. And then we're going to take a look at that little processor, the graphic processor, and see what we can see. Now that's it right there. Here's the little thermal pad. We'll probably get that replaced. But we'll put that up to the side and here is our graphics chip. Take off that little plastic covering. Put that off to the side because we'll use it later. I'm just going to wipe that down. Probably an AMD. And it is, it's an AMD graphics processor. I'm just gonna put some heat to it, get it fairly hot, and then we will reassemble and test. I'll probably try to put some kind of wedge in there so we can get a little more heat transfer. But that is most likely the issue is that has overheated and caused all of our problems. I'll go get my multimeter so we can do some thermal readings while I heat up the GPU. We'll be right back. Okay, so we have my multimeter out here. I've plugged in my little thermal probe here. So what I like to do for a little trick is I come up through one of the uh, screw holes. Like that. So we run it right through like I'm threading a needle. And that allows me to 
have a little more control over where this probe is going to end up. So that's a good angle. We're looking at Fahrenheit right now. I'm going to probably let this guy idle at around 300, maybe 365 tops, but I need to keep my nozzle moving and keep an eye on the temperature. And then I'll probably let it sit there at the 300, 360 range for maybe a minute, maybe a little longer. It's kind of just a, a feel thing. It's not very technical, but let's get into it. And then we let it cool down until it gets to about 100 degrees. And then what we'll do is uh, reassemble and give it a test. We'll be right back. Okay, so we got the laptop all put back together. And what we'll do now is plug it in and fire it up and see if it works. Our charge light is on. I hear the fans, and I see the HP logo, which is a really good sign. So it looks like our laptop is repaired at this point. Hopefully the new thermal paste and adjustments will hold, and the um, customer can keep using their laptop. I'll uh, probably give it a bath make it look nice, shine it up, do some housekeeping on it, and return it. And there you have it. We have a fixed laptop with a little bit of reflow, and that is the uh, Pavilion DV4 by HP, repaired. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time.